Now, with the exception of getting one of the best stadiums in the country, Blue Bombers fans have had it pretty rough the last few years out there. But expectations are higher than they've been in a long, long time, thanks in large part to the acquisition of former BC Lions running back Andrew Harris. In a league dominated by American players, Harris is the rare local boy. And as Sean Reynolds tells us, he's got all the qualities to quickly become the hometown hero. Growing up in Winnipeg, Andrew Harris was a Blue Bomber fan in a Blue Bomber family. Absolutely. Yeah, I grew up watching the Bombers, you know, going to games at Cannon Stadium. My auntie uh, had season tickets, so anytime I had a chance to, to sneak in and get a game in, um, I was definitely taking full advantage of that. Now Harris is a Bomber. And though the two-time All-Star has only played in the orange and black of the BC Lions, he is a product of the blue and gold. It started with his junior coach, Doug Hawking, a long-time bomber. The talent level, um, and uh, and just he was you know played at a different speed, um, but uh, oh, it was just uh, it was awesome to see. But Harris's skills were working against him. He was so good, his mistakes never caught up to him on the field. Sometimes even when you do something wrong, you need to get kicked in the butt a little bit. Andrew needed that. Andrew needed that accountability, and Andrew needed to to understand that that's what it took to play at that next level. So Hawking turned to the man who kicked his butt as a player, former Blue Bomber trainer Jeff Fisher, a man with a reputation for turning Joes into pros. Fisher knew exactly what Harris needed. We threw him right into the fire with our CFL players. Uh, he'd always been a really big fish in a small junior pond. I wanted him to be a small fish in a big CFL pond. And Fisher had the big fish to do it. Blue Bombers of the day, like six foot four, 300 pound Aubie Kahn and six foot nine, 290 pound Doug Brown. Brown was quick to establish the hierarchy. He was a young pup and, and sometimes the, the bigger, older dogs have to, have to make sure that young pup is doing the right things. It was Brown's style to push people. He did that to Harris, challenging him to hit a tough benchmark in training. That moment sticks with Harris to this day. Doug Brown took a while to warm up to me. I remember this one time I was on the Jacob's Ladder, and if anyone knows what that is, it's, uh, it's a beast. And he said, if you can't get this certain number, then you don't have what it takes. And I took that in my head and just, you know, it challenged me, and, you know, and I crushed the number that he, that he said. Just a few years after that challenge, the Lions beat the Bombers in the 2011 Grey Cup. Harris named the most valuable Canadian. In the process, ruining a storybook ending for Brown, who retired after that game. Knowing what I know now, that you know he would uh, take away my last opportunity to win a championship in, in BC in my very last game, I would have insisted he'd be thrown out of the gym. You know, revisionist history here, right? Now Harris has a chance to do something each of his blue and gold mentors was unable to do, and that's bring a CFL championship to the city of Winnipeg. In the process, Harris would end the suffering of his home city that has gone a quarter of a century without a Grey Cup. I know a lot of people are talking about Grey Cup and playoffs, and um, and to be honest, you know, you, you can't talk about those things. You won five games the previous year. Talking is one thing, intentions another, and Harris knows what it would mean to his city to bring back the cup. I think that's important to him. That mindset he has, where uh, if any any uh, regime, any fan base, any community is deserving of having a championship handed to them. Uh, it's this one right here. And, uh, you know, guys that have worked with him and seen him develop over the years, we couldn't be happier to handle, really hand off that torch to him. Only time will tell if Harris can replace that torch he now holds high over his head with the Grey Cup. Sean Reynolds, Sportsnet, Winnipeg.